Hello everyone, welcome to the Stormworks Guide. This is episode 2 where today we'll be looking at how to make a boat hull. And this is just something that everyone will need to learn in Stormworks because you will build a boat at some point. Realistically, 90% of people, the first thing they build is a boat. I guess first things first is that you want to put symmetry on ideally. Um, depending on the type of boat you're building, it's going to change what's, what sort of hull you make. So... I'm looking at making a patrol vessel that I can then go and do rescues with. I want it to be fast, I want it to be agile, I want to be able to hold a decent amount of people in it, but I also then want to be able to ha happily, I want to be able to just let it be practical in the sense of, if I don't have a mission to do, I just want to be able to sit out on the ocean and chill. So it needs to be decently stable, it needs to be livable, it needs to be able to go decently quick it needs to be able to carry passengers and it needs to be able to have modularity in the sense of i want to be able to put whatever parts i want on it in the future to upgrade it so a modular architecture for that i want to make a a long semi-narrow but definitely just long um boat probably almost like a yacht type style so i've got a, um i've got an image on my phone here and Look, the best way to do this sort of thing, and many other Stormworks creators and content creators have said this, search it up on the internet. Find a photo on the internet. That is the way that you get inspiration. You want to make something? Search it up on the internet. You'll find a photo. That'll help you get started. But that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to say that, look, our boat's probably going to be... I'd say maybe three and a bit meters wide, so about, yeah, 3.75 meters, I'm happy for that. And then I'm just going to build my boat hull up, and we're going to extend it. Now, keep in mind with building in this game, when it comes to boat hulls, buoyancy is your biggest factor, which is why I say any 1x4 wedges, keep them to a minimum. 1x2 wedges, they're okay. Ideally, you would just use one by ones. And that is because one by two wedges have the same amount of buoyancy surfaces as a one by one. And the one by four wedges also have the same amount of buoyancy surfaces as a one by one. So you get the same amount of buoyancy as a one one by from a one by one as opposed to a one one by four wedge. They give you the same amount of lift in the water. But the 1x4 wedge takes four times the space. So you're better to just use the 1x1 wedge and three blocks if you if your ship is uh, si sitting low in the water. I'm going to then get my selection tool, which I showed in the previous video. I'm just going to copy and paste for the length of this. Merge these bits together. Um, and then I'm going to start basically just trying to merge this into a singular point a lot of a lot of boat building and stormworks is highlighting you know highlighting kind of the general shape you want and then building to that so for example i'm going to just make a couple general lines here um by basically deleting parts yeah like so that's the kind of shape i want i want quite a a curved so I might put a, a couple one by twos and I'll just put those there and then I'm going to put another couple there and then I can build off of that now wherever this bit starts wherever the the kind of wedges start delete about four blocks back and I say that because you want to be able to curve these hulls and what often happens is that you end up bringing them back a few blocks so do that and see how it goes okay now we are in a f an unfortunate situation here of that there is not really anything we can do that easily matches this up there's a couple options which it's any any time you get something that looks a bit difficult to actually merge together it's probably because it is slightly difficult, and in which case, just do what I've done here. Try and merge it best you can, and you might end up in a situation where you can replace something and it looks okay. Like what we've done here. 
another thing you do want to avoid is if you do end up using anything that has the number four in it try to align them and i say that because as you can see here i've got a one by four in this space and this one by four or two by four pyramid is not aligned with it and because it isn't aligned it's a bit difficult to actually again just merge them together and get them to shape nicely so i'm gonna have to delete some stuff and work around it if i want to get a nice hole shape now this is this is a situation which everyone will face you just simply cannot do anything practically to fill this gap nicely with this and these wedges in that event do the damn best you can don't give up just do what you can if it's at the bottom of the hole like this is that's the best place for it to be because let's be honest the only person that's going to know that that's there is you awesome now we've got the basic shape of our boat hull what you want to do then is make sure you've got a back on it so for the back of this i'm actually just going to fill this in here like that um i might extend it over a little bit later like extending at this sort of level but then what you can do is you need to seal this top section so that stormworks the way it calculates buoyancy is a it's not about displacement it's about the air volume inside that it displaces so because this is a big air volume that we've now sealed because of this layer here this should float and let's spawn it in let's look at that it floats and it floats really well so we're now able to uh build onto it so at this point this is there's really no kind of guide i have for this put your windows on put your upper structure on put all sorts of stuff on i'm going to do that myself and i'll get back to you guys once i've done it so now that you've made your boat hull and it looks like this or whatever you've made it look like you don't have to make it like mine but once you've made it there are a few things you need to consider that hopefully will end up looking like this and I know a whole lot of you are going to be thinking like, why have you got such ugly colors? Like, that's disgusting. And yeah, it's it looks terrible. It genuinely looks bad. Um, and that is just because I want to make sure that when I actually do put the colors in, I'm making sure that, you know, I can paint easier. It's, it's just a guide way for painting. And so I can replace colors and stuff like that. But what I have here is I have marked a few things which I think is important for every single boat. So firstly, where the water line is. Now, this is something that you'll have to do by literally spawning your boat in, in the water, and seeing where it sits. Now, if you're at the stage like me where there are no engines in it, then that's okay. What you want to do is hit P to go into photo mode and just have a look at kind of where the water line is you can see we're slightly below here and that's probably because we're more buoyant at the rear but once we put the engines in it should balance it out but you see the point is is that i want to be able to see where the boat should be sitting um, and it's a good indicator for structural stuff for building but it's also a good indicator for if you're on the water and your boat's sinks below that line and it doesn't come up there's something wrong um also a good and a good thing to do is if the water line's here just dig through here and see like oh okay so this little indented lowered floor section doesn't drop below the water line if it did the game would be a bit funny and it would start putting water in this hole here which will end up making it so that when you open your door you end up getting water into your cabin now you don't want that at all but so that, that that's definitely something you've got to consider is you've got to consider you know what height are your doors at um especially exterior doors you need to consider a way to getting into the entirety of your hull i know this whole area is ugly it's unpainted it's got nothing in it and it will most likely have very little in it but you need to be able to access it especially in a career setting you need to be able to access absolutely everything 
architecture of vehicles is such an important thing in this game and it's such an important thing in real life because the reality is you could make the best like you can make the best jet fighter in the world you can make the best car in the world you can make the best boat in the world but the moment that someone sits there and go hey we can't repair this what happens when one thing goes wrong so that's an important thing to note another thing is windows look put windows in please it will really help you just shape your build it'll help you work out proportions um, other things to note, things like interior space, make them 7 high as a minimum, 8 high is kind of a standard, um, and if you want some high feeling ceilings, that round, put in some 9s. So like this section here is a 9 high ceiling, so if I move just down here, so this is a 9 high ceiling. Um, whereas if I look at, you know, something like this well, i guess this this little bit here this is only seven and then if we move into this area here this is only four this is going to be like a bedroom area um but hey that's another thing that i do also want to mention when it comes to designing the boat or designing the whatever think about what are you going to put in your boat where is it all going to go it's like for me i'm going to put a whole lot of seats on the side here i'm going to put some seating in, inside i'm going to put all of my kind of general management stuff in here um all of my equipment etc 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 there'll be cupboards in the floor there'll be all sorts of stuff so that it's nice and compact um and then you come through here and it's just going to be purely a, a living space um and you know this area here i might even create you know some elevated seats or uh, in the future i could make a seat that's kind of higher up um, that you can control the boat from you know so that's something to think about also build with separate colors um just to highlight different sections highlight different parts um especially for painting it's useful for painting so you know my floors all red the my exterior floorings all red my exterior paneling general paneling's blue the general hull's white the rest of the hull, the bottom hull is uh well, like the keel i believe it's called i'm not very good with boat naming is green which all i have to say for today i think this is a good place to drop off the video and we will continue next time with some more um stuff on the storming's guide where i'll be teaching you guys hey how you make your first boat engine and in that we'll be using the new variable um propellers which came out the other day which i am very excited for the small pitchable propellers so thank you for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed um we'll have a quick little boat look at the boat there we go but yeah i hope we all enjoy feel free to kind of use this video as a reference if you want to copy this boat off and get it to work yourself in your own style or if you want inspiration remember the tip where if you're going to be building stuff that's built in real life look it up on the internet search it up for inspiration and i'll see you in the next episode of the stormworks guide cheers